Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Pocket Incoming video, and I have exciting news for you guys. So, last night on the Pocket Incoming Discord, uh, they tagged everybody and said that there was an announcement to make. I will show up on the screen. They said this week's redraw banner with both feature Groudon and Rayquaza. It will start noon Thursday 26, so it is tomorrow at reset, and they're adding Groudon to it. Now, we're getting dual banners early. I already knew we were getting dual banners. We were supposed to get Kyogre with Groudon, so now we don't quite know what the banners are going to look like since the dual banners are changing. Obviously, because they're not going to put Groudon on the same banner next month. So, that begs the question, should you still summon on this one? Uh, yes. So, if you don't know how it works, how the pity system, or summoning in general on a dual banner works, if it is the same as the other version of Pocket Incoming, the one that's farther ahead, when you summon, let's say, you pull, like, a Scyther, and the next multi you get another Scyther, third multi you get an Articuno, and then the fourth multi you get Groundon, you want Ray, right? When it gets to the part of the multi, like, three characters in, and Groundon shows up, it'll, it'll pop up which one you want, Ray or Groundon, you can pick. So, Having them both on the same banner only helps people who wanted one over the other or wanted both. You can them for both. So I do think this is a good change. I'm actually glad that they're doing this so people can get both of them because my server has not had either of them yet so far. Now, for if you should summon for ground over Ray, that is a personal preference. I think they're both really good. I personally think Ray is better. Uh, ground on is 670, a little bit less than uh, Ray. He is a pure ground type. Uh, his bonds are Ray and Bagon, Kyogre, Suicune Gyarados, Titar, and Tainumo, Titar, Agron, Agron. Now his uh, bonds are a lot easier to get. Uh, you still need Ray and Kyogre, but funny enough, uh, these two are on the same banner. Uh, the rest of them are just characters you'll pull, which is good because you get damage reduction and that's increasing. Uh, the skills are, he does power attack damage and Extended small CC CD for two rounds, so pretty much they can't use their small move for two more rounds. He uses this. His second ability, Rock Tomb, does power damage. Um, inflicts, deals 40% of this damage to the Pokemon behind the target, so it hits the person in front and hits on behind. Increases own damage reduction by 20% for the last two rounds. Deals blind effect to an X-Ray who uses skill move to attack it, lasts for one round. Really good. His ultimate apparently is the hardest single in the game, uh, with 660% power attack, 360 increased power damage. This attack comes with the fissure effect, dealing extra damage to nearby targets equals to 35% of the final damage amount. It triggers ancient power for two rounds. The effect increases its damage reduction by 30% before receiving attacks stackable. Half of the effect will remain permanent, even if the effect ceases after ultimate skill triggered or is played for one time. Oh, so, uh, yeah, he does mad damage reduction. His passive. For each big round, ground on controls the ground triggers the earthquake effect, increases the initial true damage of all enemy targets to ground on uh 12% power attack. For each casting earthquake effect, increases the earthquake damage ratio by 10% permanently up to 150, so more rounds to damage. Really good unit. However, there is no news of if Primal Ground on or Kyogre are coming. I have no news on them. I do not make a raise in the game. Uh, for their one year, we might get him earlier. But as it stands, Ray is better. I recommend going for him first, unless you're building all ground team. Do note though, when ground on primals, he is a ground fire type, so you can run him on fire teams. So keep that in mind. If you run fire teams and like fire types more, you can just snag a copy of ground on. I'm not sure how primals are going to work, but it'll probably work the same as Megas, unfortunately. So you'll need him at 11 star. But I would not worry about that now. Just worry about getting your copies and call it a good. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's just an update on banner. You should still summon. You should still go for Ray. If you want both, go for both. Um, and yeah, so unfortunately this does mean that the uh, banner list is going to change. I'll try to see if I can get a update on when that is happening. But anyway, that'll be it for the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It would help me a ton. Uh, and you'll be notified for new pocket incoming content. But well, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next pocket incoming, which will be me summoning for my favorite legendary.